Hello guys, Mr. Akophobia here today. Today I've got a PvE build, you can use it in PvP. I do think this is the best possible PvE build you can make with the capacitor. It's easy for legendary and you'll fly through heroic content. I discovered this build through one of my friends, Rabbits, you'll see him in the video. But uh, thanks for Rabbits for sharing it and let's get into it guys. Our first piece is the holster, a Walker and Harris holster, which gives us 5% weapon damage. It's rolled to a blue core. The attributes are 6% crit hit chance and 12% critical hit damage. Our next piece is the knee pad, which is a Grupo, 15% critical hit damage. It's rolled to a skill tier. The attributes are 12% critical hit damage and 6% critical hit chance third piece is the gloves which gives us 10% critical hit chance a Seska piece the core attribute is a skill tier the attributes are 12% critical hit damage and 6% crit critical hit chance our fourth piece the mask is the chill out mask you can use um, gillet if you don't have the chill out mask for the 5% total armor you get it's a blue core the attributes are 12% critical hit damage, another 12% critical hit damage mod, and 11.9% critical hit damage mod. Because the chill out mask lets you use three mods. The backpack we're using is the Memento Exotic backpack, which has a red core, 15% weapon damage, has a blue core, and has a skill tier. And our mod is 12% critical hit damage. And if you don't have this backpack, the talent is kill confirmed, enemies you kill drop a trophy on death, collecting trophies provides both and short and long term buff, the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. 5% weapon damage for reds, blues you get 10% bonus armour and 5% skill and efficiency for skill team so we'll get 30% bonus armour. For every trophy collected, gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. So you'll get 3% armor regen for 5 minutes. Maximum stat is 30. Our final piece of gear is this chest piece, which, if you want this build, guys, you will be farming this chest piece for a very long time. But I, I will say it is worth it, the build. It is really, really worth it. Let's get into it. The chest piece is a Fenris chest, you get 10% assault rifle damage, it's rolled to a skill tier, the attributes are 6% critical hit chance and 12% critical hit damage, and the mod is a 12% critical hit damage mod. And the talent is kinetic momentum, when in combat each skill generates a stack while active or not on cooldown. Stacks increase your total skill damage by 1% and total skill repair by 2%, up to 15 stacks per skill, lost when on cooldown. This chest piece is very hard to get, but it is definitely worth it. The primary weapon we're using is the capacitor, this is what gives us all the weapon damage and a lot of skill damage. The core attributes are 15% assault rifle damage, 12% damage to armour and 9.5% health damage. The talent is shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage after 5 seconds, stacks decay 1 per second. And for each skill tier, you gain 7.5% weapon damage. We have 5 skill tiers with this build. These are the mods. Our secondary, I'm just using a tactical vector SBR. But uh, you can use whatever secondary you'd like. You'll mainly be using the capacitor anyway. Core attributes are 15% SMG damage, 21% critical hit chance, and 10% damage to targets out of cover. And we have Optimist. Weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. And these are the mods we're running. Pistol I have on is the Orbit. 15% pistol damage and 10% damage to targets out of cover. And the talent is perfect finisher, swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy, 
grants 35% critical hit chance and 40% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. Our first skill we're using is the Assault Turret. We are tier 5 so we get 100% damage. And these are the mods on it. Our second skill is the Striker Drone. Tier 5, 100% Striker damage. And those are the mods. This is the overall build guys. We have 5 skill tiers because we have a skill tier on the Fenris, the Seska piece and the Grupo and the backpack that's 4 and you get a free skill tier from the technician so we have 5 skill tiers. So that with the capacity you get a lot of weapon damage as well and we already have weapon damage because of all the crit chance and crit damage we get which I'll show you the stats now. We have 54% critical hit chance and we have 197.9% critical hit damage so we have all this skill damage from 5 skill tiers and we have all the DPS from the crit hit damage and the capacitor. We also have um, survivability because we have 3 blues and we get 30% bonus armor when we pick a trophy up and the 3% armor regen as well. I'll just scroll down these stats for you. This is the specialization we're using the technician. We get 15% assault rifle damage from this. We get shotgun damage and SMD damage. And make sure you pick this overclocked CPU. You get more skill damage. And obviously you get the free skill tier. But this is the build guys. I would highly recommend making this build because it makes content on this game way too easy. But uh, remember this is a template, you can change it around how you like, but I would recommend doing that the way I did it. But uh, give it a go guys, and I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.
dumb. I suggest I need those shells as chemical weapons. Can't afford to let the true sons escape with those. You gotta find a way to close up that tunnel. According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with SC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think it goes to the trouble to start? Fuck you! You lost a bit of them! I'll make sure you rot down here! campus is taking position inside the memorial.
activated.